Hey, what the hell? You felt it too? That origami's resonance. I'm certain I know it. Yeah. It felt almost exactly like the captain's blood power. Hold tight! Look, what are those things? Such force! Everyone, hold fast! Livy! Please, we need it now. Grant me the power, Romeo. the branch immediately. Nana, can you take hold of Livy? She'll need our help. Got her! Gil, cover our retreat. The last thing we need is an ambush. On it. Far East Branch, come in. We're falling back to the mouth of the tree with injured. Send an escort team to meet us. Thank you for your report, Captain. Do you have a moment to spare? I've been hoping to speak with you. As, uh... Has Corporal Livy told you anything of her past? Livy. She was raised at Magnolia Compass Orphanage by Rachel and Leia. You could almost say she was a test run for Julius. We found out too late that her home for the lost was only a cover to test Bias Factor's adaptation on children. Livy was the first she found that showed any true promise. But Rachel... Rachel named her a failure. Libby could adapt, and well, but not before experiencing violent rejection of the core bias factors. Each attempt drew from her very life. Once Rachel discovered that Julius could adapt with no side effects at all, Livy was discarded. And here I am, asking her to continue to sacrifice and bleed to save Rachel's pet team and her beloved Julius. I wish it weren't so. Livy is logical to a fault. In all my years with her, she's never taken action I could not understand. But I don't know why she fights at your side. In the end, I suppose it's of little consequence. All that matters, all that I ask, is that you keep her safe. Thank you, Captain. That'll be all.